Jesus. Okay, and the fact is now you've got 30 AD, Jesus dies, passes off the scene. In this time, you've got the apostles living and talking and teaching, and you've got the fact is the hymns, and you've got the creedal statements, and you've got, uh, you know, one of those creedal statements I really love that's easy to remember is uh, Peter saying, you killed him, God raised him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that's pretty easy. You killed him, God raised him. All right, but the, the thing is then, uh, with the sacraments, you have a consistency of message going down, and then now the apostles start to put this stuff into writing. Let me ask you two questions here. What did they call what they said, and what did they call what they wrote? Now, that's two questions with one answer. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and that is they called both of them the Word of God. Uh, the preached Word of the Gospel was the Word of God. The written word of the apostles in these letters that they sent to the churches and the gospels that were written by them or by their uh, people who worked with them was the word of God. It was all a message from God. In fact, that's part of what the word of God is. It's the idea of this is a message from God. This is a revelation or disclosure that comes from Him. And that's where it gets its authority from. That's where it gets its credibility from. Uh, and so this gospel message was a message for humanity from the living God. It's a mind blower to believe that these guys, when they spoke, believed that they were giving the Word of God and that when they wrote, they were actually writing the Word of God that we would have. 